what's up, Scout IQ? We've got a brand new feature dropping this week. It's been by far the most requested feature, and it is buy costs. Now, for those of you who enjoy doing mental math and don't intend to use it, no problem. It will not interfere with your current scouting. But again, this has been the most requested feature. We've listened, and we've rolled it out for those of you who do want it. So here's where it is. You'll notice that the screen looks almost the same, but up in the top right corner, we've got an area called buy cost. We put it on the main screen, both on the Scout Standard screen, as well as the Scout Lite. You'll see it right in the middle. And we've put it in the middle of the screen, or, or on the screen, so you can see it at all times, which is nice, so you don't enter a cost and forget that it's there. Now, here's how it works. If you don't want to use it, simply leave it alone. We've set it to zero, so it won't interfere with the way you scout or your triggers. You can tap on buy cost, and most books, at least from thrift stores and library sales, are usually uh, soft cover and hard cover are going to be in 50 cents to dollar increments. So what we've done is you can simply go here, you can add, you can hit the plus arrow, and it always increments by 50 cents. So that'll make it really easy to, uh, to change your prices on the fly. If you need to type something in to get more specific or to include sales tax, you can tap on the number itself, it'll bring up your keyboard. Now just a note, if you do have a Bluetooth scanner um, installed or connected, if you tap in that area and no keyboard pops up, it's not that it's not there, it's just hidden by your scanner. So if you have an Opticon, press the small button and it should bring up the keyboard. If you've got a KDC scanner, press the down arrow or however else you can toggle the keyboard with your scanner of choice. So from here, you can enter any individual price that you'd want click off of the area and you'll be set there. And again, you can increment by 50 cents up and down from there as well. Close out of it, your buy cost will now stay in place and your profit will be recalculated properly. That buy cost will stay there until you change it. So if you lock it in at a dollar, you're gonna be all set. Now, if your triggers are set to, to say a profit of let's say $4, it's gonna subtract your buy costs from that. So you can click on the profit calculator, you'll see buy costs in here as well. And if you want to, you can edit them from within the buy cost area also. So you have a couple ways to do it. And again, from this screen, if you tap on buy cost again, it'll bring it up. You can increment by 50 cents or a dollar, however much you want, or enter any individual price. So that's how buy costs work. We listened. If you have other features you wanna see, by all means, reach out to our team. Thanks for watching.